Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a hair update. So going back a little bit in time, one month ago I bleached my hair, like half of my hair, and recorded a video showing the entire process. I was in quarantine, I was bored, I had that idea and I decided to do it myself at home, bleach my own hair. It was one of the best performing videos here on this channel, so a lot of you guys loved it and I want to thank you so much for the support on that. It really made me feel good, of course, when it's a video that does well on this channel. I got a lot of love and a little bit of hate too, so of course there were some hate comments and everything, but I took all of them in consideration and most of them were not actually just hate, it was constructive criticism that I highly appreciate and I really took in consideration for this hair update and since you guys really liked the video and also liked my pictures with this hair and everything I got so so many questions regarding hair lately that I decided to do this hair update where I show you the footage of me after a month toning the hair again, bleaching the roots again, doing all that stuff and also just sitting down and replying to questions and this way anytime someone comes in my DMs asking for a hair question if I replied on this video I can just send the link and it's easier and I have everything explained let's go so first question is going to be about the bleach a lot of people ask which bleach products did I use and how I bleached my hair so if you didn't watch the first video of course go watch it first because that explains a lot but replying to the bleaching question alone I used a bleach powder that is from Pharma Vita and actually most of the things I used for my hair in terms of like color and bleaching for this process were all from that brand not because it was like a personal choice that I think is the best brand nothing like that it's just because it was from a Portuguese website that has very fast shipping and I'm an impulsive person so I wanted to do my hair like tomorrow and I ordered it today, something like that. That's the only reason I bought that specific hair bleach. But yeah, it's a bleach powder that I mix with a developer from the same brand. And here is the thing, on the first video I used the bleach powder with a 30 volume developer because I read a little bit and in my mind it made sense to use the 30 volume because I was bleaching almost black hair my natural color is this one which is a very dark brown almost black so in my mind 30 volumes would be the best but <laughs> in the comments on my video as I told you there were a lot of constructive criticism and someone said that I think it was a hair professional that said that I shouldn't use 30 volume on the roots because it's too strong and actually any time that you bleach the roots you will feel your skin like itchy and everything because it's such a strong chemical I really take your comments in consideration especially if you have experience in hair and like I told you in the last video after a month I was going to try to remove the yellow and bleach it once again in parts that were more yellow and also bleach the roots my hair grows a lot so after a month I had like one inch of black roots so yeah, yesterday was the day that I decided to bleach my hair again and this time I went with 20 volumes. If I could go back in time I would go with 20 volumes straight away because I don't think 30 is needed and I think it works out really well. As you can see it's much more even, the color and I really think this time it had much better results. Okay, now the second question is about toner. How did I tone my hair? How did I remove the yellows? Okay, so here is one of the biggest things that I learned during this process. So I'm not a hair professional, as you guys know, I'm not an expert. So I never really understood what toning is. In my mind, toner was always that thing that removed the yellows, but I just didn't understand why. I just always thought it was a hair dye. I understand the whole color thing, how the blue uh, neutralizes the yellow, I understand that, but in terms of like chemical and the structure of what a toner is, I never really understood. And on my first video where I bleach my hair, I used a hair dye. I ordered a hair dye that was like a 10.1, something like that, and I decided to use it with a 20 volume, which is what you regularly use on a 
hair dye. And once again, it's because I'm impulsive and I want to do it all at once. So I only stopped to think what a toner is after that video and I started reading and also read some of your comments and trying to understand a little more of what a toner is. So a lot of people told me to use the Wella T18, I think, I think it's one of the most popular and I couldn't find it here in Portugal or in an European website that has some kind of fast shipping and I decided to just try to search and understand what a toner is so I could find other brands and here is what I found out so basically when you use a regular hair dye you have the color cream which has the pigment and then you mix it with a developer and when it comes to developer you have the 20 volumes the 30 volumes the 10 volume and basically what it does is kind of open the hair for the pigment to get in if it makes sense the higher the volume the more it opens up for the pigment to get in and the longer the color is going to stay, the deeper it's going to get in, so basically something like that. And with a toner, what happens is if you bleach your hair first, there's really no need for you to keep damaging and opening the hair for more pigment to get in. So that's basically what a toner is, it's kind of a temporary hair dye that you don't need to open up for the pigment to get in. It's almost like hair makeup, if it makes sense. You're not like injecting the pigment, you're just covering it because it's going to stick, because the hair is already light. I decided to search a little more and for that brand that I've been using, which is the Pharma Vita, I realized that they have some color cream, like a section, like a mini collection that is called the Mineral Shadows or something and basically they are pigments with different shades of grey that you can use as toners and the hair dye that I used before on my first video is from the Mineral Shadows so it can be a toner but why is it need a toner? because I decided to use it with 20 volume and this time I used the same hair dye, the same color cream but with something that is called the Tone on Tone I think which is basically just like a developer cream that you mix with the color cream to create a toner. If you're a hair specialist and I'm saying something wrong, please correct me, I'm always willing to learn. This is just what I understood from reading a lot and trying to understand what a toner is. But either way, I'm going to add all the products in the description that I use if it helps you. Okay, next question. Did it damage your hair? So here's the thing. Bleaching always damages your hair in a way because it basically it removes the color you have on your hair and the hair will eventually get a little bit thinner and uh, drier and everything but I believe that you can have bleached hair that's healthy so I always use a lot of hydration I will talk about the products I use later and I definitely think you can bleach your hair carefully and get it to be healthy so next question that I get a lot is how to grow your hair I did a video on this a long time ago and I will edit somewhere over here but either way I'm just going to tell you my top tips from that video and one of the most important tips I have for long hair is to try to reduce the amount of times that you wash your hair like for me two times a week it's what works like less than that I struggle a little bit because I don't really like to feel my hair dirty but uh, more than that it also dries my hair a lot so two times per week is the best for me but I guess it will depend on the type of hair that you have and another very important tip is the hair hot tool so I love flat iron I love curling iron I love to play around with those but I try to do it just once between washes another question is was your hair virgin before you bleached it and here's the thing yes most of it was because the last time that I did some color on my hair was about three years ago so most of that hair dye is probably gone but maybe the parts of the end probably still had some hair dye in it and maybe that's why it turned out so orange but most of the hair was virgin, yes and that leads us to the next question which is have you ever had any other colors on your hair? yes I think from when I was like 16 or something I decided to change my hair and I was experienced in trying different things a few years ago I decided to go pink and purple all the colors you can imagine I really like experiencing with hair okay now one of the most requested questions is what hair care products do I use? I always change a bit and try different brands and everything but I'm going to show you the brands that I've been using now 
I'm not very picky about my shampoo. It's not a thing that really needs to be good quality. One thing that I'm a little bit sensitive is my hair scalp and I tend to get a little bit of dry scalp. Sometimes I get dandruff, I think that's how you say it, I think it's dandruff. So I like to use the head and shoulders, it's one of my favorites, I feel it's more neutral and helps me with my scalp. So that's one of my go-to shampoos and then I just like to experiment other brands. Okay, conditioner, I never use conditioner, I always prefer a hair mask and I have two top hair masks that I love. One is the one that I've been using now which is from Gizu. When you open it, it feels a little bit like artisanal and like handmade, it's really amazing. So that's one of my faves, it's the one that I've been using now. And another one is from Trace MA, the white bottle one with blue letters, I don't know the name but I'm going to pop the image here, it's also one of my faves. And I don't know if any other person does this, I actually didn't learn this anywhere. I just thought of it and I decided to risk it and it works for me. So basically in my hair mask I add a few drops of purple hair dye, like semi-permanent hair dye. And the brand doesn't really matter, I will pop the picture of the one I use, but it doesn't really matter. And I wait the regular minutes you wait on a hair mask, like 2 to 5 minutes, something like that. And since it's just a little bit and it's mixed with the hair mask, it's not going to turn your hair purple, but it's going to cancel the yellows a little bit. So that helped me a lot. Another holy grail for me that's so, so important is hair oil. I love hair oil and I use it every single day and I use a whole bunch of it. So Gizu hair oil is so good. It's the one that I've been using. I'm just so in love with it and I think it's totally worth it. It smells good and the texture is good and your hair drinks all that oil and feels very, very healthy. Two other products from Gizu that I also been adding to my hair care routine that I didn't use before is this pink hair primer, I really love it I use it before I do any hairstyle or apply any hot iron tool and also this hair perfume basically is a perfume for your hair it's not too strong like a body perfume but it definitely smells so good and after you apply it to your hair it feels like you just washed it so people will smell their hair and think you just washed it but maybe you have like three days already without any water on it but yeah i think it really helps if you want to reduce the amount of washes also before i go someone on the questions asked to see my my hair from behind and i'm gonna just show you so this is how it looks so that was it guys thank you so so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel become a part of our youtube fam and i guess i'll see you guys on the next one Bye guys, love you.